Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Given the enormous rap sheet that Shyla has racked up over her time on both the bold and the beautiful and the young and the restless, it's no wonder that she immediately became the primary suspect when Tom and Hollis were murdered on B&B, &B. so it wasn't really a surprise when Lieutenant Baker walked up to question her, swiftly followed by Steffi and Lee to hurl accusations. I'm not sure anything really surprises Shyla where the foresters are concerned, or where Lee is concerned, Kimberlyn Brown acknowledged a soap opera digest of her character's thoughts. She's always going to be the first person that they point to. So, I don't know whether she's really that surprised. I know she's disappointed. Lieutenant Baker was only doing his job, and Shyla expected that kind of attitude from Steffi and Lee, but it was Finn being part of the other side that really wounded. Thankfully, she still has Deacon on her side, and aside from Finn, he's probably the only one she actually cares about. She's trying her hardest to be the good person he wants her to be because he believes in her. Brown explained, he's the first person who has believed in her. Does she really care what Steffi thinks? Probably not that much. Does she care what Finn thinks? Absolutely. She wants that Finn would see her for the new leaf that she's turned over in her life, and how different finding love and finding happiness can make a person. Although her new romance with Deacon has motivated Shyla to turn over a new leaf, given her history it's no wonder that everyone's eyes turned to her when people unexpectedly began dying all of a sudden. It just shows once again, it doesn't really matter what Shyla does, if it's good or not. Brown remarked, if it's good, they look the other way. All they see is the Shyla of the past. They don't see the Shyla of the present. That's something Shyla brought on herself. We're all free to make decisions in life, but we're not free to escape the repercussions of our actions. That being said, Shyla has a lot to make up for. But will Shyla be given the chance to prove herself and make amends for her previous misdeeds? Or will she find herself being arrested for crimes she didn't commit, this time? Stay tuned to see what twists and turns await ahead. As one of the soap's founding characters, Eric Forrester on The Bold and the Beautiful has had a lot of drama in his life. So let us run down some of the highlights and lowlights for you. First appearing in B&B's very first episode in 1987, Eric has always been performed by actor John McCook. He also moved the role over to sister series The Young and the Restless for many appearances over the years. McCook's efforts have earned him five Daytime Emmy Award nominations throughout the years, and he took home the trophy in 2022. Eric Forrester was introduced with his marriage to Stephanie Forrester already on the rocks. She felt he was having an affair with his assistant, Margot Lindley, but it was Stephanie herself who introduced the other woman to their lives when she booked caterers for a dinner, and one of them turned out to be Eric's ex, Beth Logan, Eric left his wife for Beth but returned when he realized he had a long-lost daughter suffering from microcephaly. Stephanie had lied that Angela was stillborn to save him the anguish of a crippled daughter. Unfortunately, the real Angela had died years earlier, and the doctor had presented the family with a fake. After his son, Ridge Forrester, terminated his relationship with Brooke Logan, Eric found himself pulled to the gorgeous blonde, when Brooke found herself carrying Eric's child, she pondered terminating the pregnancy because he was technically still married. Stephanie was startled to learn about the hidden affair, and Eric left her to marry Brooke. After they welcomed their son, Eric Rick Forrester, Jr., Brooke was pulled back to a newly single ridge, and she claimed to be expecting his kid, but Bridget Forrester turned out to be Eric's. Although a connection with Shyla Carter led Eric to walk down the aisle with her. She was a dangerous crazy, so it didn't last long. Eric was later astonished when Stephanie admitted to him that Ridge wasn't his biological son. Massimo Marone was his father, from an affair she'd had. Though this caused some early conflict, Eric still favored Ridge over his biological sons, Rick and Thorn Forrester. Eric divorced Stephanie and remarried Brooke, 
but their takeover of Forrester Creations was halted when Stephanie found she was actually the sole owner of the company. In the end, Brooke went back to Ridge, and Eric returned to Stephanie, once more. Stephanie's plotting again lured Eric into the arms of another woman, Stephanie and this others time Donna conspired Lennon. to split them up, but it ultimately failed, and Eric divorced her to marry Donna. After Eric had a heart attack while having sex with his wife and fell into a coma, it was revealed that he'd been poisoned. Although there were numerous possibilities, even Owen Knight confessed to take suspicion off of Donna, who he was in love with, they realized it was Pam Douglas, who had drugged him to help her sister, Stephanie. Business at Forrester was terrible, and Eric was always forced to mediate between Ridge and Rick's sibling rivalry. Bill Spencer succeeded to take over the company briefly, but the family managed to gain it back. Eric's marriage to Donna was strained by her working closely with her ex, Justin, and then when she decided to bring charges against Stephanie for accidentally causing her mother, Beth's fatal drowning. Realizing how deep the link was between Eric and Stephanie, Donna divorced him, and when he learned Stephanie had stage 4 lung cancer, Eric's old affections for her reappeared, and they reconnected and remarried before she unfortunately passed away. Although Eric recovered control of Forrester creations, he remained despondent over the loss of his wife. He found solace talking with Taylor Hayes, and that gradually grew into a romance. Brooke wasn't thrilled about that development and wanted to get rid of her, but when she realized she was pregnant, urged Eric to claim to be the father so Ridge wouldn't find out it was Bill. Eric rejected, not wanting to ruin his new relationship, and the truth ended up coming out regardless after Brooke miscarried. However, Taylor was furious that Eric had been harboring Brooke's secrets, and their romance burned out. Amidst all of the frequent power struggles at Forrester, Eric found himself drawn to Quinn Fuller, a new jewelry designer they were working with. The family was not delighted when he went public with their relationship, citing all of the horrific things Quinn had done to injure people in the past. But Eric protected her and even agreed to marry her. After no one save Ivy Forrester attended their wedding, Eric lashed out at his ungrateful family and suffered a stroke. After he healed, Eric found Shiloh was back in town and trying to turn over a new leaf, but she was just as scheming and exposed Ridge and Quinn's affair to Eric, who moved out of the mansion and into a motel where she tried to get her hooks into him. Eric presented Quinn with divorce papers, but after she signed, he tore them up and accepted her apology. He even forgave Ridge, Eric, and Quinn's marriage was on very firm foundation for a time, but when Eric found out that she and Shona Fulton had schemed together to tell Ridge he'd married Shona to keep him away from Brooke, he kicked her out of the house. Quinn kept attempting to apologize and didn't help her cause when she accused Sasha of being after Eric herself, but ultimately, he forgave her. However, Eric's icy manner towards her, especially in bed, pushed Quinn into the arms of Carter Walton, and they eventually had a torrid affair. When their truth was uncovered at Quinn and Eric's vow renewal ceremony, he once again booted her out of the mansion and dismissed her from Forrester. However, he then tore up the divorce papers and requested her to move back in, claiming that his behavior had been because he was suffering from erectile dysfunction and was humiliated that couldn't satisfy her anymore. Quinn assured it didn't matter and pledged to make their marriage work, but was surprised by his later proposal that she continue to seek sexual gratification with Carter. Katie Logan tried to find out what was bothering Eric, and eventually he confessed the truth, begging her to keep it hidden. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed The Bold and the Beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.